characteristics of diffracted wave uh, so what will happen after the wave is diffracted okay so diffractions happens when waves encounter an obstacle after the diffractions uh, the wavelength does not change this is important okay this is important eh? uh, the wavelengths will not change eh? the wavelength is still the same let me show you okay you see the wave eh? the wavelength this is the wavelength eh? this is the wavelength lambda and this is the wavelength lambda so the wavelength is still the same eh? the wavelength here and the wavelength here is still the same after the diffraction so the wavelengths remain unchanged eh? okay the frequency of the wave also the same the frequency of the wave will also remain unchanged okay and the speed of the diffracted wave eh? speed of the diffracted wave one word is missing here diffracted wave also does not change okay so wavelengths frequency and speed remain unchanged but if wavelength frequency speed remain unchanged so what will change the amplitude of the wave will decrease so this is before diffractions eh? before diffractions after diffractions eh, you see the amplitude will become lower and lower okay lower and lower why that is because amplitude is related to energy eh? so amplitude is related to the energy of the wave okay so if the wave is spread to wider area means that the energy is shared by a wider area so if energy is shared by the wider area so energy at each point will be lower okay if you have money and then you share with a lot of people then uh, so you, you will get very little money so only okay so everybody will only get very little money if you share it with uh, many many people okay so if the wave spread then uh, the energy will also spread okay so when energy spreads so energy at uh, a single point that will be lower and therefore the amplitude will become lower so wavelength frequency speed remain unchanged but the frequency will decrease after diffraction so that is what you need to know eh?